What's going on you guys? I'm gonna bring you guys something very unique and special in this video. And this is going to be a gameplay video of Emerald LeBron James. As you guys can see, I had two Emerald LeBron James. I didn't even know I had one, honestly. I don't even know how I got the first one. Because last night when Ronnie2k tweeted out this Emerald LeBron James on Twitter, I opened, that, opened up around 30 packs and I didn't even get him. So today I just got back from work and opened a few packs and I got my second Emerald LeBron. I don't know how I got a second one, I didn't even see the first one, I think it was a glitch. But anyhow, Ronnie2k cheesed a lot of people man. He said Emerald LeBron was out but in reality it wasn't even out yet. So a lot of people wasted their money trying to get Emerald LeBron James as soon as it came out on Twitter. But I think that was dirty what um, 2K did, they just stole people's money. I'm not sure if they issued a refund or not, but uh, that's just dirty what they did. But anyways, on this video I'm going to try to focus on LeBron James, the Emerald LeBron James. I'm going to try to play as realistic as possible as he would on the Cavaliers when he was back in Cleveland a few years ago, you know, trying to carry the team and get a triple-double. But I'm not gonna try to do anything crazy and ch and like cheat and like spin dunk and all that. I'm trying to play in, play in the flow like right there. That's something LeBron would do a beautiful bounce pass to Anderson Verjao. But he just missed the dunk. And right here I drive, I draw the attention, I kick it out to Dion Waiters. That's something else he would do. That would have been Delonte West or Mo Williams back in the day or, or Daniel Gibson. And this is a one-on-one -on -one matchup. This could be Kobe or Carmelo guarding him, sorry. And he just blew by him for the dunk. And I want to touch on my lineups that I'm using. My starting lineup, I try to make it as realistic as the real Cavalier team as possible. Because I don't have all the Cavalier players. I only got like seven or eight of them. So I try to make a realistic lineup. I used Andrew Bynum even though he's not there anymore. But that's what I did. And for my bench lineup, I used all stars just for fun, just to, I don't know, just to keep the game close. Because honestly, if I use all 60s and LeBron James, it's going to be hard to win against an all star team like my opponent has. He has Gary Payton, Michael Jordan, Tim Duncan, Karl Malone. If that's LeBron and like 60s and 70 rated players, then it's going to be hard to win. So that's why my bench. I made it equal so I could keep the game close and then try to win with my starting Cleveland lineup. And this is a beautiful basketball. Everyone touches the ball. Kyrie Irving wide open. So now we're moving into the second quarter. LeBron James has a mismatch on Karl Malone. I do some simple iso motion. Pull up from mid, X and release. I love using LeBron in a non-cheesy way like it's fun like I'm not turboing left and right turning in circles like it's fun beating the defenders like fair I don't know if you guys know what I mean but some people they love just spin dunking in the post like my previous opponent I don't know how he has fun doing that as Kevin Durant flings a half court shot <laughs> but yeah my previous opponent all he was doing was spin dunking with Russell Westbrook in the post yeah, that's easy to do but I don't know how fun that is to keep doing that all game it's just I don't know that's not fun to me so I try to play as realistic as possible like I said Karl Malone misses a free throw his free throws are tough to hit man and LeBron goes coast to coast and he gets fouled when LeBron goes coast to coast that's so scary for the defense look at LeBron with the behind the back tough layup that's a sexy move right there and look at him he's trying to just run with his LeBron but that doesn't work he turns it over here comes Deion Waiters gets in oh, and as the video title says I'm flirting with a triple double in this game with LeBron because I was trying to do it all find my teammates and score when I could so I could keep this game close and try to win it. Karl Malone gets owned by Anderson Verschau. We play some nice defense. Nice bounce pass to LeBron James on the break. We're only down by three. As you guys can see, this is the fourth quarter. And for most of the game, 
I was down by double digits or six to eight points because his team was too strong against my Cavalier lineup. So that's why I was down most of the time. So I had to insert some all-stars to try and tie the game up. We play some nice defense. So MJ, he hits a big three-pointer. When he hit that, I thought that was going to be the dagger. But then we got some defensive stops. We got some steals. LeBron to Shaquille O'Neal. We're only down by three. Our LeBron steals it from him. Now I'm taking my time. I find Kevin Durant, but I'm not in a rush. I'm just going to take my time. I know I could find a good shot if I take my time. Make somebody else beat you. Three on the way. He got it. Make somebody else beat you. Take the ball. He has the opportunity to take the lead, but he fumbles the ball with Stephen Curry. We're on the break. I see LeBron James, and he finishes the fast break. Yo, if you guys are not enjoying this video right now, I don't know. Because I'm enjoying watching it again, even though I played it just today. I love watching this again, because this was such a tight game. Whew. And he, as you guys can see, he fumbled it again after he called a timeout. So now I have a big opportunity to take a four-point lead and ice this game up. So I'm just going to call for isolation, 1-4 ISO. He helps out. He leaves my shooting guard open. And that's Michael Jordan. So now we're up by five. We leave Steph Curry open. He hits the jumper. I don't know how our defense lets Steph Curry open, but mistakes happen. He fouls me. I'm going to the line with Emerald LeBron James. I get X and release on the first one. We're up by four. And I choke on the second free throw and he's only down by four. He has an opportunity to take... Oh my goodness, Steph Curry with a fading three. Are you kidding me? We're only up by one now. This time I'm going in for with LeBron James and he fouls me. But this time I made both free throws so now I'm up by three and look at Michael Jordan he ran a nice play MJ got stuck on a screen and James Harden hits the wide open three he ran a nice play for James so now ah, I wasn't trying to do that I was trying to alley-oop it but then LeBron went the wrong way but it's okay we're going into overtime baby and as soon as overtime tip off LeBron James knew he made a mistake, so he comes right back to redeem himself. He gets an easy layup. So right now, I'm just trying to take my time once again. This is overtime. We don't want double overtime. LeBron James goes inside. Let's go, baby. We found the opening. And this is going to be a nice play. Look at Dion Waiters with the six steal on Michael Jordan. LeBron! Wow, that was so wicked. If you guys didn't like that dunk, oh my god, that was so nice. I love watching that dunk so many times. But anyways, we're up by two. He has an opportunity to tie the game. He finds LeBron James and he ties the game up. And now I know what kind of defense is playing because throughout overtime he was playing a zone defense. He was trying to focus on LeBron so much. So I know my teammates are going to be open if I take my time. I find Anderson Verja wide open and the ball. Nothing but zeros on the clock as he drains the winner. What a finish. And he never had a doubt. He was celebrating the moment it had left his hand. Anderson Verja, the unlikely hero. Wow. If you guys enjoyed this video, man, please check out my channel. I've posted many videos this week. And please leave a like or comment if you enjoyed. It really helps me out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.